Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today we're continuing with our series, Anatomy of a Mix. Today we're going to explain how we mix the song Tennessee Tea by Cumberland Road, country rock band. I co-wrote, produced, played a bunch of things on it, so I hope you enjoy it. Right, let's dig in. Moving on to the vocals. Same thing on every channel. So we have something different in this respect that we have a lead vocal track just for the verse. Then we have a different track just for the chorus and the bridge. So this allows me to set up different levels for them and different EQs depending upon what's happening. If a singer is singing higher in a different register, it may change the EQ and that might not be flattering or it may. So you just have to work that out, split up a track, it's pretty easy. So since this is a two singer band, we have the other singer, his tracks down here. And then there's some doubles for the bridge. Down here we have these telephone echoes. Let's review that real quick. So coming out of the bridge, we have Tennessee, you turn the lights on in my brain. So all that is is the word brain repeated and filtered and panned. So to me it's easier to just grab the one word, it's copy the track, cut out the other words, keep the one word you want, move it where you want, do the same thing to the second track throw some filtering EQ on it and place it where you want. So over here we have all our background vocals, these like four or so. So what's cool is down here we have these pads. So if you notice on the pads, I don't have the Pro Q and the SSL on every channel. Since they're all fairly similar and they're singing with a similar timbre and a similar register, I just put the Pro Q and the SSL up on the on the bus, Aux Master. Talking part here, which was processed in a little bit of a weird way. Move on over me slowly. Move on over me slow. Move on over me slow. So how did we get this to happen? We put the telephone filter on the CL. AFX, we have the a short delay and a little bit of a room. Then we have this filter. We're taking out a bunch of highs and lows. Then we have this uh, Brower Motion plugin, which gives a little panning thing. Move on over me slowly. Move on over me slow. Move on over me slow. Now, if we heard it without the, any of that, this is what it would sound like. Move on over me slowly. Move on over me. Perfectly normal. Then you have these three, perfectly mangled. Move on over me slowly. Move on over me slow. Move on over me slow. Move on over me slowly. Cool. So let's quickly talk about each little bit, each section. So on our vocals. In the verse, you'll notice it was kind of dry. So I used the small room vocal in the verse. And then when I got to the choruses and the bridge, I used like the more traditional full plate reverb. That's a CLA patch. It's a 480, but it has a lot of pre-delay, me medium release time. Then also on the vocals in the verses, I used this Waves ADT, which is a nice tape doubler. Uh, it gives a cool old school sound without sounding too chorusy. And then in the choruses, it would jump to my favorite. Micro pitch shift setting was great. And I also put on that a little widener to help it go wider. I used to have an Echoplex and a Roland Space Echo. They were great, uh, but maintenance and, and having it sit behind my head back here, it was spinning around, it was kind of noisy. So this plugin's pretty close. So I set that to like 166 to give a tape, tape echo vibe. And that happens pretty much in all sections. Then I have a, uh, a delay eighth note and a quarter note on my PCM42 presets. Then I have two eclipses outboard and they're set up to be used for micro pitch shift, which is a little bit different than the one I'm using for the lead vocal, different quality for the background so they don't mush too much together. And then the second one is set for a richer chorus patch, which helps for backgrounds and I can alternate between them. Some of the backgrounds on the pads, I may add this Dimension D for even a little more chorus. 
So this AMS reverb is great. And I'll have this set for like a vocal ambience to use with backgrounds, so it's different than lead. CLA effects is good for a delay throw if I want to use it. I didn't use it on this tune. We review these blend reverbs to mix people together into a room. 